morning. So today I'm going to finish my centerpiece. I started it last night and I just thought I would share the process with you guys. So I have some different types of poinsettias that I found that I'm going to use. I have some like pine cones and straws that I'm going to add in. Uh, so right now I'm just taking the tags off of everything. These ones I got from Walmart. And then my other uh, poinsettias I found at the Dollar Tree. Hey, Kels. Behave. <laughs> Not this one in particular, but I can make you one. So the order, it was actually a challenge that someone sent to me um, wanting to know if I could make something similar to it. And I said, why not? I hope you didn't get in trouble yesterday. No, you don't. So what I did is, I found I found this iron um, arbor at Roses, and it was about six bucks or so. And then what I did last night is I got my globes that I wanted to, use and I to the to the candle arbor. Then I just cut my thought I had another stone. But I cut my my uh my foam block in half. This is part of it. So I cut this in half and then just slide it into an I hot glue and E6000 these in place where I want to put my flowers. I'm not going to worry about here because once I add my flowers here, it'll cover most of that up and I want to try to keep some of it um, visible, but some of it where I didn't want the iron to show, I just put the foam block there. So I've let this dry overnight, working with E6000. The best thing to do is to let it dry overnight. That way, you know your project will be secure and it won't. So all I'm gonna do now is take apart um, my point set. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange poinsettias in a pile 
And then I'm going to put <clears throat> my accent pieces in a pile and my pine cones in a pile. So this is that was together. And I'm just going to take this apart so that I can use them in different spaces. And I don't have to have them all in the same area. Um, that had some of the red decorations on there because this one I want to keep the red theme so I'm just going to take my exacto knife because this is just floral tape and if you take a scissors or a box cutter or, or your exacto knife and just run it down this the tape apart that's holding the uh, arrangement together just to separate them however you like. Hey, Price. I, I, she needs to behave. Did you know how she likes to act up? So I figured I would come on live now since I have the room to myself. The kids are still asleep. The husband is gone. So I don't have anyone in the room. We still have time for our dollar days. It's the lettuce Christmas tumbler. That we will be raffling off for $1. Um, just cash app Dapper Cakes and Craft. Dapper Cakes um, to enter. We will draw the name of the winner on next Saturday. So this one is going to have more greenery. Than so that's why I have tons of um, greenery in Walmart. And they were like uh, 98 cent, I think. So it's usually whatever I find while I'm find while I'm out and about. Whatever speaks to me. 
that's what I use. No particular rhyme or reason. If you think it's going to look pretty, get it, use it. Okay. So I'm going to start with my greenery first. And I'm going to do both sides. So whatever I put on one side, I have to put on the other side. So that was kind of why I separated um, my greenery. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this down. Add my hot glue. And now I'm going to add poinsettias.
I'm going to add some of long so I'm going to cut some of the accent down On, on this side. Now, I'm going to turn it and do the same thing on the other side. that one I didn't cut down long enough. So just snap it off. This one I'm going to leave just like this because I want to have the red accent with it and the pine cone. But I am going to cut it down just a tad bit. Thank you. 
put it in the container. Okay, now to add some poinsettias on this side. And again, with some of them, I leave some of the green leaves on. And then some of them, I take them off. So it just depends on the look. Um, determines how much of the greenery I leave on and how much I take off. So the size of the poinsettias will also determine how much of it I use as well. These ones are kind of on the smaller side, so that's why I'm using um, a little more. If the um, flowers were a tad bigger, I would use less. because they would cover more. Mm -hmm. 
berries. Now for the center pieces, I will add just a few poinsettias here and there in the middle. You don't have to worry about it too, too much because once, once you add your candle on the inside, Teeny tiny ones that I have right here in the middle. So that's what it looks like on the side. And then I'll do the same thing here.
So if you're just joining us, we're doing a Christmas piece for the table. You can add your candles in the middle. Um, all I did was hot glue my flowers on, but use E6000 to secure my globes that I'm that I will use for my candles. And you flowers. You don't even have to do a Christmas one. You can do an everyday one if you want it for your table. Today, just change the type of flowers that you use. If you want it for fall, use fall colors. I think that would be nice. Um, Thanksgiving. Easter, you can change it up to make it look just however you like. But this one was a Christmas one that was requested, so that's why this one is Christmas. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Questions are always welcome. gonna add things and tell us to your liking and we did both sides I have some of these. It's called Heather. I think I'm going to add a few of these in. 
just to see how it would look. Okay, so there you have it. What do you guys think? Would you put this on your table? Now I have to make one for myself. <laughs> This was a fun, small, simple, but elegant. So if you joined me last night, we did a, it was almost like a treat. So it's a, it's a candle holder, but we've added some candies on the inside. And like I say, uh, you can add any stickers to decorate the glass. If you get your stencil, even if, I meant to tell you, even if you didn't, don't get the, the etching spray, they have the uh, frosting um spray where the spray paint is if you put your stencil on cover up your glass and spray it you will get the frosted look on your glass as well and it will look like this glass right here this one was sprayed with that um spray and i can get the let me grab the can so you can see how it looks Okay, so I'm all out of the, the spray, but um, that reminds me I need to get another one. But it's in the it's in the um, spray paint section, um, in the paint section of your of Walmart. That's the cheapest where I found it. Um, once you spray the when you first spray the glass, it'll look clear. And it'll look like it's not working. But once 
the spray paint dries, you will get the frosted look. And it'll say like a frosted window. Um, it'll say like a frosted window type spray paint. It'll have a window with the frosted glass on the can. And that way you know you have the right one. So once you spray it, when you first spray it, nothing is coming out but when it dries it dries like this right here so you can use that that is a whole lot cheaper than getting the etching cream um, this stuff is on the expensive side but a little goes a long way and like I said, you can get any small stencil out of Walmart. Out of sometimes Dollar Tree have um, stencils um, around school time. At the beginning of the school year, they usually have stencils out. Um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, what's another craft store? It used to be AC Mall, but there's no more AC Mall. So um, you can try Target. Um, Wherever you find your stencil, or even if you just make your own stencil, you mounting spray. And once you paper or whatever with the mounting spray, you want to let it dry for about a minute or two to get kind of sticky. Then put it on your project and spray it down, and the mounting spray will come right off. And all you have to do is wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and it'll get the um, sticky residue off if any is left. So again, this is our Christmas centerpiece that we just made. I have another one um, with a different type of candle holders just so you can see the differences of what you can use and what your options are. So I tried it two different ways. So this is what I started off with first. And this is the end result. Okay. So if you like the tall globes, you can use the tall globes or you can use the shot um it doesn't matter. I think it'll still um, turn out really, really nice. So this one, I think I'm going to use um, different colors on this one. This one may be an everyday one that I may use, or I may just do another Christmas one to raffle off for our dollar days items for next week. Um, it just depends on what I see when I go in the store what, what type of flowers that I find um, that's how I usually determine so I'm gonna have um, six of these done and I think I'm gonna add these to the dollar days item so I think for next week we will have several items that we're gonna raffle off for um, our final dollar days item before Christmas and I think those will make great Christmas gifts you can eat your candle in with these ones you can even put um, candy to the bottom candle to the top and then your topper on and your decoration however you want to do you can use big ribbons small ribbons you can use large ribbons here um, I actually have some wide ribbons. This one says Merry Christmas. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. Those ribbons are perfect for small crafts. So you won't have to spend, because ribbons are expensive. So I find when you find nice ones at the Dollar Tree for small crafts, a whole lot more economical for you and you won't have to spend as much on um, on a nice ribbon for a small project and have all these ribbons left over this one has the wire in it um, 
last night when working with these ones, you want to make the ribbon um, because they don't have wire in it and it won't as far as with the wire ones you can kind of like um do them any type way that you want like i have another one here and you can put your wire to the top your ribbon to the top or even in the middle So I think I'm going to do that with this one. I'm just going to add some hot glue. I'm just gonna add just a tad of glue, just a dab on just to hold my ribbon in place so that it won't shift as much. I'm going to make my bow. And I have a little piece of And it's just regular old floral wire that I'm using.
I'm just going to cut off a small piece of my ribbon. I'm just going to use that to make my center knot. Just gonna glue that together. I'm just going to cut some tails, fold my ribbon where the two front part of the design is facing and just cut it on an angle. And then I'm just going to use a little hot glue and wear my ribbon meat. I'm just going to add my bow. And just fluff out. I'm just going to add a small dab of that part of the ribbon just to hold it in place. to hide the candy. Like I say, you can fill it, not fill it. I think these are great little Christmas treats. And I'm just using a floral foam. This is the star foam one, not the soft one because the soft one will fall apart. These ones are more sturdier. And it can be just a simple little Christmas gift. Say thank you, Merry Christmas. Whatever the occasion. You can do one for birth. One for um, for sympathy if someone is sick and make a nice get well gift. And you don't have to fill it with candy. You can fill it with whatever it is that um, the person may like. And all I did was take some tissue paper and cut them in half. And I'm going to use three pieces. Put my foam in the middle and just bring it over. So 
get it inside. And the tissue paper just helps to hide the, the, um, the foam that you're using and just to make it look better. Okay, and I have Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have more red flowers. So this time of year, you can find lots of flowers, um, lots of Christmas colors. I think I'm gonna save a few of the greenery. So these are some Gerber bait daisies and that I'm using for this one. And I'm again, I'm using red just because of the holidays. But you can use whatever you want. Um, you may find some silver and potatoes. You can use those as well. with a dash of white. Whatever you decide to do. Like I said, I'm keeping some of my greenery. Because I'm using a couple different kinds of flowers, I'm going to start on the four corners. Four corners in center first. With my Gerber daisies. And I'm adding my, when I add my flowers, and I always add it. Angle. Except for if I'm doing it in the center. But when I do the sides, I always go in at an angle. Sometimes when I cut it, I cut it at an angle. Just to remind me. So the one that you put in in the center, that determines how high your arrangement is going to stand. Turn the camera up so you can see. And 
and now I'm just gonna fill it in with the other da daisies. And this would be perfect for Valentine as well. So I'm just going to go in between. At an angle. And doing it that way also helps. Um, your room to be symmetric. I have I have some silver accent. I think I'm gonna add to this.
And it's just one long stem that I'm just breaking down. To put in different give that different height. And I have a few white berries. Yep. And there you have it. So, there you have I'm just going to fluff up. And you can use different color um, tissue paper. I meant to grab some of the holiday ones. Um, that would look nice on this. how the top looks. Hey, goody. So we've done three, two and a half crafts this morning. So this will be another dollar days item as well. So you have both of these for next week. Um, I feel like I'm always doing something for girls. So I'm the guys and I will show you on Saturday when we go live. Again, 
This is a Christmas centerpiece. Mantle for your table. Wherever you feel like you want to put it. It's good. I think I'm going to make me one um, for my table. Thanks, Goodman. I've been slacking off with decorating my table. But I think I need, I think this has inspired me to um, get back in the swing of things. Um, again, I'll dollar these item for we will be announcing the winner. Um, again, if you would like to add a chance to win this cup, um, Cash App, Diaper Cake 627, $1 for each entry. Okay. So, again, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, you guys are great. I love the, the support and the love that you all show me every week. Um, so, thank you for joining me. We will be back next week. Or the same craft. Um, decorated differently. It just depends on what I have going on that week, next week. So, again, thank you for joining me. I will see you on next week. Don't forget to um, cash out if you want to the raffles. We will be back next week, Saturday, to announce the winner. And you guys enjoy your Sunday, and I will see you next week. Have a good one.